What's happening guys? Feast your eyes on this classic 1971 BMW R50 slash 5, AKA the toaster tank years. This is a major redesign for BMW in 1970. They went with an all new, much sturdier crankshaft and actually crank bearings out of the six cylinder automobile. So it was a really stout upgrade from the traditional uh, still has the same boxer twin style, looked very similar, but it was an all new redesign and uh, light years forward. This brings back memories for me. I had a 1971 R60-5, the big brother to this one, when I was a kid and rode that thing everywhere. And they, I can tell you they're absolutely bulletproof reliable. These bikes will last forever and parts availability, pretty much every part on this bike is still manufactured by BMW, one of the few manufacturers. Harley-Davidson dumps their guys uh, parts after 10 years, uh, the BMW, no, you can still get everything on them. Matter of fact, I've got a bunch of receipts from Max BMW, the local BMW shop that most of the, or a lot of the work and parts came from, and then an a, a invoice from the New England Motorcycle Museum. We had our senior tech, Billy Blythe, work on this bike. Um, all of the electrical functions work beautifully. If you take a look at the, uh, the front headlight here, you'll see the high beam, the high beam, the uh, low beam and the, uh, the passing light all work as they should. That's low beam. So it even has the high beam indicator. It has, it has a, uh, if you hit the button, it'll flash on and off. That's like a passing light, European passing light. I believe it's original front headlight too. Certainly the headlight casing is all original. The bike runs perfectly. It runs like a brand new motorcycle. The original I'm not sure if this is the original tank. This one is in beautiful condition. I think this was an upgrade. Woo! Look at that. Wow. When's the, la when's the last time an MZ, 1969 MZ, flew by? O only at the New England Motorcycle Museum. The bike's in absolutely beautiful condition. It has the original handlebars. I believe these, these are the original grips. If not, they are BMW replacement grips. The levers are in mint shape. It has the optional upgraded tank. That year, they had a smaller toaster tank and then they had this this is a larger touring tank which was an upgrade uh, the paint appears to be in brand new condition as is the rubber on the side it's in mint shape uh, typical longevity of the BMWs the inside of the tank looks great the tank uh, the gas cap looks mint the seat the stock seats on these were 200 miles max and you were done uh, they are very uncomfortable. This is a very common upgrade a very expensive upgrade it's a Corbin saddle this is good for 500 miles you can ride this thing all day long with this saddle it does have the passenger pillion and the passenger pegs too so you can ride a, a, a buddy on here if you want the paint on the rear fender front fender is in mint shape the wheels are in fantastic condition the tires have been replaced by the previous owner it's got a brand new battery in it it's been fully serviced all the fluids have been changed it has a uh, it has a uh, now a Honda CR 480R just pulls up you never know what you'll see here at the museum so the original turn signals work beautifully on the bike, uh, left and right turn signal and the brake light. Um, it has the, still has the reflectors on the rear taillights. The exhaust system, the exhaust muffler system is brand new on the bike. Let me grab the work order because I don't want to misquote uh, what was done, but I have $1,500 worth of receipts from the previous owner. Um, I guess I'll go over some of the specs too. Uh, it was made 69 to 73, the R50 slash 5. This is a 71 model that claimed power was 32 horsepower with a top speed of 97 miles per hour. It's a 498cc air-cooled overhead valve flat twin with a four-speed shaft final drive and a wet weight of 451 pounds. Rated for 55 miles per gallon. Um, originally new, the bike was $1,000. The current NADA Blue Book value on it with, and the comprehensive motorcycle price guide value is $8,000 so for a number one condition bike, which this one is. This one's registered until 2023 and was uh, currently being ridden by the previous owner. Uh, the invoice we have uh, is $3,474 for repairs and upgrades, and then there's $1,500 worth of services the previous owner had done. Uh, to the service invoices, there's some real nice upgrades on the bike other than the obvious exhaust system, tires, uh, the seat, and... Uh, the, what you see, uh, what you can't see is it has an Omega alternator, 4,500 alternator. It, it, it has um, a 400 watt capacity, a huge improvement over the stock one. The price on that was $575. Also has an upgraded Bosch regulator rectifier. That was $107. It has the Corbin seat 
the, the replacement tires and the gasket kit was $1,550. That was all from Max BMW. At our shop, we did a full uh, service on this bike, including a cosmetic uh, full major detail on the bike. It was a day and a half in the detail shop, 12 hours. The bike was steam cleaned, hand washed. The engine was cleaned of some minor oxidation and scotch brighted lightly uh, to give it that original super clean finish. Uh, OEM stock look. The frame was touched up, painted in a couple areas. The, the, the mufflers and the headers were polished. The sh shock springs and the bodies were uh, repainted black, the original black. The exhaust flanges were painted, the high temp aluminum. Uh, the tank and fenders were polished and waxed. Basically what we call a rotisserie detail where every square inch of the bike, it's ready to roll into the New England Motorcycle Museum or, or your private collection or bring it to a, a show exactly the way it sits right here. Um, it is largely original the engine the front end the wheels the um headlight uh bucket bars everything appears to be original on the bike in an excellent condition shows a little bit of patina as you'd expect for a 50 year old bike but it's it's an original uh classic that's been given a bunch of love in the in the form of preservation services and detailing um the all like i said all the lights work and the horn works the uh, left head gasket was just replaced that was leaking uh, the heads were torqued to 25 foot-pounds, and the compression test re re revealed a solid 155 PSI uh, compression on the right and 150 PSI com compression on the left, uh, which is perfect. So the reflectors were added to the rear turn signals and the panel plugs to the, fr to the front turn signals. The carbs were disassembled, cleaned, completely rebuilt, and adjusted and reinstalled. All the oil is new, um, engine oil is new, and the carbs were reassembled and tuned. So um, the new mufflers were installed, the valve clearance was set, and let's see, uh, new, oh, they are new grips. They put new handlebar grips on, new, they're new OEM BMW handlebar grips. Uh, the battery was replaced, the handlebars were adjusted, um, the front engine cover was removed to verify the upgrades that were done under there. Um, so it has an aftermarket regular rectifier, as I mentioned earlier. The throttle was adjusted. The in interior of the stock gas tank was cleaned. The tank was taken off, and it was uh, cleaned with a couple of different chemical rinses that we use here. So it's nice and clean inside there, as clean on the inside as the outside. Uh, the throttle cable slack was adjusted. Um, the battery cable ends were, were um, serviced, um, put shrink tube over the positive cable. Uh, installed the aluminum side covers those the previous owner had not mounted those those came to us in a box They're brand new from BMW the aluminum side covers in front of the shocks there. So we put those on here um, Let's see the mirror was Adjusted and the tire pressure was set at 33 psi and they added two gallons of the VP non-ethanol fuel so and then they test rode it, adjusted the clutch and then readjusted the carbs after the test ride and it also, um, I forgot to mention, and one of the things that's not on, on this $5,000 worth of receipts for work and, and parts and labor here that I have from the two shops, uh, it, uh, there's a steering stabilizer on this bike. And if you look, it's been upgraded to, to a OEM BMW billet uh, steering stabilizer adjustment. It's a nice upgrade from the original one. So um, just a beautiful piece, fully serviced. Everything is done. It's basically ready to ride cross country um, it'll come with the previous registration and uh, wow that is a nice 250 you got there son thank you sorry for disrupting your video I don't know if you guys are going still yeah, it's it's uh, it's hard to, to film a video around here without getting interrupted but if it's a gorgeous Honda CR 250 interrupting it's not such a bad thing mm -hmm. so um Back to the, the BMW, I've got a stack of, of invoices here that's going to come with the bike, a stack of service invoices, and the previous registration, which is good till, uh, I think it was till 2023 is what I saw. So if you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. I've got a long history with BMWs like this, back to my um, early 20s when I had my R60-5. And let's just say I didn't baby mine. I rode the wheels off of mine. I put some shorty mufflers on it so it sounded like a little little hot rod. 
Matter of fact, uh, the mufflers that I had on mine ended right here. And it, it, these engines sound pretty cool with a set of pipes on them, but it's a more traditional look to have in sound to have the, the, the stock style uh, full length exhaust. The rims look to be in brand new condition. Uh, the whole bike's straight front to back. It has electric start and it also has kick start. Electric start works beautifully. Like a brand new motorcycle and it's ready to roll. If you have any questions, give us a call. 860-454-7024. I think the pictures and the video uh, hopefully do the bike justice. He and I were talking about the bike right before we rolled it out. He was admiring it. He's the one who worked on it and um, I'm the one who purchased it from the previous owner and it's just such a beautiful piece. I was looking at it going, this is like a, it's like a, it's like it's, these BMWs are like they're made out of a, a chunk of granite or billet aluminum. They're like one solid machine that's stood the test of time and it's 50 years old. So 50 years from now, if we're dead and gone, uh, this bike will still be in essentially the same condition if you wash it, wax it and keep it inside. And they're good. These motors are good for hundreds of thousands of miles. This one's got 48,000. It's got a lot of life left to it. It's like a brand new. It's like a brand new motorcycle, and it's a museum quality piece. Again, the uh, I have both the values here. I think we went over it this briefly earlier, but um, come on over here, Kenny. I'll sh share with the viewers. If you want to look this up yourself, I think they have a website too. It's a comprehensive vintage motorcycle price guide, the 2020 edition. It shows the R50/5 with a number one value of 8,000 and a number two of 6,500. This is definitely a number one bike. It's it's in mint condition. Um, it's uh, and also I have the NADA. You can look this up at NADA, JD Power, uh, NADA.com. They show the the R50/5 with a number one value of seven thousand six hundred, so about three hundred dollars less, and then a number two of five thousand. Now th these are where do they get these numbers from? Well, they get them from auctions, eBay sales, the previous year's um, sales data. So. I would say this is a really, really rare piece. I very rarely see these come through the museum here. I don't see them at events. They're, they're uh, just getting harder to come by an original 50 year old survivor like this. So um, buy with confidence, it's been gone through and it, it needs nothing, it's ready to go. It's kind of cool to have an electric start 50 year old classic too that as, is reliable, as reliable as this. There's kind of a resurgent interest in these and I've been reading on the forums, guys use these for daily transportation and ride the wheels off of them and they're they're just totally bullet bulletproof they were designed for the autobahn so they're stable at 80 miles an hour all day long and it's just a cool piece so hope it goes to a great home and if you want to leave it here on display in the museum we'd be honored to keep it here I'll leave that up to you thanks for watching and god bless america god bless germany for making such kick-ass motorcycles drive it away fun bike to ride if you're looking for something that's light and nimble that you can take off-road or uh, use it as a highway cruiser this is 
it's dual purpose. This will pretty much go anywhere. Light enough to ride around town. You know, when you get older, holding up a big full dresser or a, a gold wing or something like that can be a handful. This thing's nice and light and easy to handle. It's got good ground clearance too, so very versatile machine, pretty much bulletproof. Can't go wrong with them. Toaster tank era BMWs, that's for sure. Let's bring her in.